Create Sessions. To create a standalone or repeating session, select the Create Session button. Note that moderators have to add a title, something meaningful to the students. Created sessions have an event and a session tab, but Create Sessions do not have a lock option. Instead, availability relies on a start and end time. Here, you can also create repeated and open-ended sessions. For this demonstration, I will create a repeated session on Fridays. Scrolling up and selecting the Sessions tab reveals that I have the same options for updating and changing the attendee settings. So I'm going to go ahead, keep attendees as participants, and only grant the ability to post chats. But I also have to choose to monitor private chats. However, I now have another new option to alert Blackboard that I need more bandwidth because I am anticipating more than 250 attendees. Once I'm done with these options, I can now scroll up and review the last option tab. Attendance option. The third tab that appears for created sessions is for syncing collaborate attendance and assigning automatic score for present, late, or absent. At this time, this feature is not available for course rooms. Also, the attendance option does not work on open-ended sessions. Because attendance reporting is not used very often, the actual setup is going to be discussed in a much later section of this module. So once you've finished setting up your Create Session, go back into the Session Settings tab, scroll down, select Create, scroll back up to Event Details in order to join the session. Now that you know how to use Create Sessions, let's continue on to the next segment, joining a collaborate session.